Push to connect fittings. What's up guys, it's Rai here, Bull City Speed, bringing you another not so pro tip. This one is fresh on my mind. We were at the racetrack a couple weeks ago with Killface. <laughs> Uh, first pass, 18 pounds, didn't really go the way I wanted to, meaning I lost. So I called the guy back out again to make it round two, and let's go for two out of three. Turned the boost up a little bit, went down there, made the pass, hmm, same result. Came back around, we started looking at the data, and we realized as we put more pressure on the dome of the car, the boost was not responding. It was not going up the way it had been in the past. So I thought maybe the wastegates were sticking on the thing. Came home, took them apart gates weren't sticking but what I did find was one of my vacuum lines was broken so it was not applying co2 it was a massive leak and wasn't increasing the boost the way it should so to alleviate that I finally decided to pull the trigger and switch the car all the way over to this stuff push to connect fittings if you've never seen these in this airline it's awesome it's a nylon airline it comes in a variety of sizes this is quarter inch I think is the most popular when you're using it like a boost control or a vacuum style application uh, and it's very very sturdy cheap simple uh, very serviceable you can take it apart put it right back together you don't need to cut zip ties you don't need to worry about a, a, a stupid barb fitting tearing up your vacuum line every time you pull it off and you don't have to waste a zip tie every single time you put these things back together this line in particular is rated at over 200 psi at like over 100 like 180 degrees operating temperature it's so good in fact big rig trucks use it to operate their air brakes it comes in a variety of sizes you can use this for any pneumatic solutions that you might have on your car vacuum boost control hell i use it for uh some water lines on my car as well for the steam ports on the ls motors in fact my 1986 c10 sitting on air is plumbed entirely with 3 8 inch push to connect fittings on it it is dot approved fittings they're usually brass these right here with the plastic pieces are not dot approved uh so off-road use only there's your warning um do with that information whatever you want to do with it anyway how does this stuff work so let's get into that you can see down inside the fitting right there there you go you can see those little shiny bits inside of there those are teeth those teeth bite into the line right around that part below the teeth and around here is actually an o-ring and the o-ring seals around the line so sometimes you gotta lick it before you stick it yeah get that image out of your head let's go back to that in slow-mo now that this is completely awkward this is how it actually works you push to connect there's no click there's no nothing you just jam it in there and you bottom it out and then you give it a little tug job to make sure it's not coming off that right there is rated to 200 psi of operating pressure not burst pressure operating pressure now mind you it does have a temperature rating as the temperature goes up the line becomes weaker the black line is pretty resilient if you get the clear stuff the clear stuff is going to be mm, a little suspect um but this stuff it works great i mean if you've ever gotten a methanol kit this is usually the basic like stuff that comes in a meth kit meth kits spray at 200 250 psi of pressure and they're spraying fuel through it so if it's good enough for that man it's got to be good enough for boost control and really i can't think of any kind of boost control situation where 200 psi won't be sufficient these things are great again they come in a variety of shapes sizes and fittings um i got these all on amazon i got these y fittings i got some straights and i got some 90 degrees they're about like 15 bucks for 10 of them a piece and then 20 feet of quarter inch line was around $14 so for around 50 60 bucks I think it was I'm able to replumb my entire boost control and vacuum system you can jam them into stuff like this this is for the blue car right here uh, and they come in a bunch of different outlets that's why I have different sizes you can get them at a local hydraulic store but this is a 3 8 inch and then these are all the quarter inch ones this one goes directly from the manifold on this car and just plums right into the back of this so all the vacuum stuff goes through this block not drilling and tapping a bunch of holes in my manifold so they all come out of here um, this one just couldn't be converted and then anything that needs to see a boost or a vacuum signal runs off of this block so I've already started converting my wastegates over one thing I want to show you in particular if you do decide to do this on your wastegates pay attention 
when you're threading these in, you can see how far this fitting goes in to the wastegate on the dome. So what I'm gonna have to do is go back in there and knock that down with a die grinder a little bit. It'll still seal up, it'll still be perfectly fine. Why do I have to do that? Well, because as the piston comes up and tries to open, if that's blocking it, the wastegate can't operate and then you're gonna get all the boost. And that is actually how I ended up with these wastegates because the previous owner didn't pay attention to that and he got all the boost and a car made the fastest pass it's ever made, which also happened to be the last pass that motor ever made. So there you have it. Push to connect fittings, stupid, stupid. Is that like stupid and super? Super cheap, stupid cheap, stupid. Made a new word, yeah, fight me. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out, check these out, find them on Amazon. Uh, every retailer out there sells them. Racing, hydraulics, pneumatic solutions, whatever. You can find this stuff everywhere, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. Anyway, there you go. There's a freebie for you. I'm Ryan with Bull City Speed, and I'm out. Peace.